So here are the results of the static thrust test for the Emax RS2306 2750kV motor, uh, one of the latest motors from Emax. I've recently tested the 2400kV version, uh, that video is up on the channel, so uh, if you haven't seen it, check it out. I uh, do a slight uh, quick teardown of the motor and talk about the features. So go ahead and check it out. It's uh, the one previous to this one. Uh, so we're seeing uh, about uh, 1250 grams out of the four inch four blade prop. Pretty impressive out of uh, these small props. Next, w next uh, propeller of interest is the uh, popular 5040 by three. This one is, uh, we're seeing 1650 grams. Uh, of course, this uh, all this thrust comes at a cost, uh, 40, about 48 amps. And of course, uh, these numbers are max static. So they're, they're somewhat exaggerated uh, because we're not actually gonna get this amount of thrust and we're not gonna see this this huge amount of current uh, when uh, when the motors in the air, you know, when when the props are unloaded, as the as the props move through the air, of course the the air that the prop is in is going to have a velocity vector, so it's not the prop is not going to be able to to grab or to catch all that air because it's stagnant, you know, the air has already got a speed on it, so so it's a uh, it, it, there's less mass of air that's going to move through the prop so that's why that's what we say when the prop unloads so we're s we'll get ultimately we'll get less thrust and and the motor's going to draw fewer amps still uh, for this amount of thrust uh, uh, in the air uh, it's still going to be pretty pretty high so this this combination is going to bring a lot of smiles to pilots faces so uh, but of course you'll need a, a, a decent you know a good uh, lipo to sustain that uh, that much power uh, I think I've already seen a couple of videos on the 2750 kV so uh, we know it's a uh, it's manageable you know you you'll, you probably you know you'll get a uh, uh, some good flights uh, some fun flights so uh, if you're uh, just looking for the ultimate speed, I guess this this is your motor. Uh, uh, the next props, uh, pretty much, they're all above 1700 or close to 1700 grams. Uh, the Cyclone, uh, it's another prop that a lot of people are liking these days. But as we can see, it's uh, on at least on the static, uh, it it's drawing quite a lot of amps uh, even more so than the uh, which was kind of interesting m uh, higher amps than the quad blade 5 inch and uh, uh, just for a little bit more thrust just 50 more grams and it's 5 more amps so uh, the last prop I tested was the uh, Lumineer 50-50 by 3 the amps were getting pretty high at that point and I didn't want to risk uh, frying my ESC or the motor. Uh, the Hobby Wing ESC I use is rated it's 40 amps but uh, you know you can think it can do bursts of up to 60 amps. I just didn't want to chance it. Uh, no doubt the motor can probably reach, uh, can for sure reach 2 kilograms with the with the six inch prop uh emax has advertised his motor to be i forget if it's this one or the 2400 kv of uh reaching two kilograms so i i don't doubt it uh, it uh, certainly uh, this motor just keeps releasing the hounds uh the lot of power but uh amps are getting pretty uh, pretty high so anyway uh that's uh that's what happens when you when you uh, lose for thrust gotta pay to play right uh, so let's do a quick comparison against the uh, 
the 2400 kV just a quick side by side uh, so here's the side by side uh, 2750 here on the right and 2400 kV on the left uh, four inch props uh, we're seeing roughly about 200 more grams out of the 2750 kV motor and as we go on to the 5 inch props the difference is a little bit more about 250 grams so that's that should be pretty noticeable I think uh, of course the amps are gonna be higher so best make sure you have a, a good prop uh, the quad blade uh, also roughly 250 grams about uh, let's see the cyclone uh, 250 grams so that's kind of interesting it's about 250 grams overall so yeah so if we you know if we keep that trend uh, the 16 prop uh, the extra 200 grams should be able to reach uh, 2 kilograms so it's it'll be interesting if there's some body out there that's gonna go for that setup 16 props with this motor that's gonna be some insane power uh, so that was the uh, test and results uh, for this uh, insa insane motor uh, I'm sure the videos are gonna be popping up pretty soon I think there's a couple already out there showing the uh, speed cap capabilities of this motor uh, okay uh, thanks for watching hope, uh, hope you find this uh, data useful